Greetings, everybody. What a beautiful day this is. It is absolutely fantastic, and I'm sitting outside, if you can't tell, <laughs> and enjoying the warm sun because I think we're going to get another cold snap. But I just thought while I was sitting out here, I would sh share a few thoughts with you all. Um, one of the things that came up in our circle gathering today that was very interesting um, was a thought was the um, conversation about our um, our ideas and our thoughts and our beliefs and you know how we can change these old beliefs that we have about ourselves and move into a new way of being. Sometimes these old limiting beliefs. Um, that we may have picked up in childhood or something that someone may have told us, you know, just along the way, along our, um, our life path, that, um, you know, somehow we, we really internalized and we took in and we, and we began to hold it as a belief. And um, one of the things that, that, as we were talking through this, really became very apparent to me is you know with all of the work that I do on the medicine wheel and with the um, the teaching that our thoughts reside or come from the um, East on the medicine wheel that place of new beginnings and then our feelings come in in the south direction and then we take our thoughts and our feelings and we move around to the west and in that west direction is where we make physical where we make manifest those thoughts and those feelings that we have and then we move around the medicine wheel to the north, which is the place of spirit, where we take our thoughts, our, um, our feelings, and what we have made manifest, and we bring it to spirit, and we see how we use it in that spiritual way to benefit um, the people and ourselves and, um, you know, to bring about change. So it's, it's something that we do continuously and never ending. We are always moving around and around the medicine wheel. Um, and one of the things that, um, that I realized this morning as we were talking about it is, you know, I have always said that, um, you know, our thoughts have power and our thoughts are things and our thoughts become things. But the way that our thoughts become things is by putting our feelings into it. And so also the way that our thoughts become beliefs is by putting our feelings into it. So when we think, when we think that thought, we have a choice in that moment to either let it go is not part of who we are, not part of the truth of who we are, or we can put our feelings into it and then we internalize it and we accept it as truth. And that was a really powerful, um, you know, idea that we are always at choice that we are always at choice and whatever thought comes up um, that we have the choice of what feelings we put behind it whether we will um, create a belief from that thought or whether we will just let it go if it doesn't serve us so there's power behind that there's power in that knowing that we have a choice and um, um, jo uh, Joseph who is Trey's son um, just turned 16 years old and is very wise beyond his years as they say um, as all of the adults were sharing um, you know our thoughts and our feelings and our insights around this he picked up the talking stick and he said something that was actually very profound and I want to share that with you he said that our thoughts are something that we control that we create that we control our beliefs are something that can control us. It was very powerful and very profound. And um, I believe that to a large degree he's correct and he's right in, in that idea because we can internalize something and we can put so many feelings to it that we reach a point that that belief starts to control us. If, if we believe that we are not good enough, if we believe that we are not strong enough or not beautiful enough or not smart enough, if that belief is something that then in turn controls us, that is where we have lost sight of it. And so I go back to that place of if there is something that comes up, there's a thought that comes up that 
that says immediately, um, I'm not good enough. It is whether or not you put the feelings to that that make it true. It's the feelings that you put behind that, I'm not good enough, that make it true and that make it a belief. And then when it does become that kind of a belief, it does in turn control us. So that was very powerful and very, um, <laughs> very insightful. And I know that that's something that I will be um, pondering for a while and thinking about and just seeing how that um, shows up in my life and how that that shows up you know outside in other ways so I just wanted to share that with you all so I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I send you all many blessings and big love Mwah.